wenye mnakumbuka sasa hivi you know it, it trended and it was all over and you know he's here in person and form alikuwa anasema kwa kwa bible anasema guy in blood and form or something but yeah he's here in person that tuku kantu and today he's here on another capacity not as a musician but did you know that he can act yeah so alinyeti ndo hilo as i introduced tuku kantu i also want to introduce he <laughs> no like i wanted to say i wanted to i wanted to introduce Ruta Bingwa but no i wanted to put a line and i decide i, I was like i'm fine i work it's not working karibuni <laughs> but let me let me introduce Ruta Bingwa Ruta Bingwa is an assistant director in Kenya doing some of the local films atatuambia much about it wakiwa na tuku karibuni thank you unaona vile nimehang mahali nikitaka kukuintroduce sijui nilikuwa nataka kukupea jina kuna there's something i wanted to say about you and then i was like wacha nisibane don't worry at all to big one sentence we were just asking him ruta bingwe is a name from what country and then akatumbe it's a name from one of this countries stick around to know ni from which country Karibuni sana. Thank you. Tuku. Yes. Wacha sijui tuanze wapi. Wacha tusijui nianze wapi. Wacha nianze kwako. Mm-hmm. Because mimi in my mind I was thinking we are talking about music and then uh nikakuwa ni slapped na another reality. Mambo tofauti ba. I know yeah. nikakuwa slapped na another reality <laughs> that you can actually act. Yeah. Tell us how did you end up at acting because I think the first time we encountered you personally I encountered you was at Sasahibi. Ah. You know so when I saw Sasahibi then I was like so getting this aspect of you can act tell us so uh we were fortunate to be interviewed by lulu i uh, think on am i allowed to mention yeah yeah okay cool. on citizen tv uh, an interview a segment called shajara isn't it shajara right so while we were getting interviewed like to kona air time kibao we performed like eight songs pretty much we kichukua your interview breakdown on like youtube you have a small concert Uh, so we had a lot of fun there and as we were doing it she was like can you act i was like yeah we can but what we would really love to do is write scores for movies so she was like cool someone would reach out so someone reached out and uh, i was asked to send in an audition video by then i just got the audition video in and i did uh, the next day i was called in and uh, fast forward here we are i got the gig na kwa ni kifunzo na bwana idea hapa what acting is etiquette so you see in the music world it's a lot of noise <laughs> he can attest to it yeah. so i'm always singing on set and of course acting number hey hold up hold up hold up hapa tiki tiki songa mimi utaki that's that we have ways we can co- we we can, can bembeleza you we can bembeleza you to do it we yeah. have ways mwanza kuivisha lugha you mean you mean kuingia box the guys but anyway yeah so i've been learning i've been learning a lot on set about uh, the difference between how you work on a set yeah film set because a set mean mezoyani set of music videos there is only musicians to zoom na piga kelele left right and center but here every time rusha big man asking you you been you been working on films like zora you worked on films like um kasiri uh, now kasiri um this other one yenye na nini nafanya sasa hizi there's there's the first one that you did uh, yeah i was looking for the name sultana and uh, no you know sultana you know resemble kwenye natoka uko sultan hamud mm-hmm. yeah so <laughs> I was really was thinking what is the name of this place la pitaka nikienda home because that was the movie tell us how, how how did you how did you land at local filming mm, I would say this is something I I really wanted when I was I, I was an actor I was an actor and if, no, let me not say I was I'm still an actor because we go for an audition right now and I pass then I can do a role Um I started with stage performing mm-hmm. at the Kenya National Theatre did some set books on stage uh, traveled around Kenya I in fact I know Kenya more than Uganda ah. <laughs> I've been to Finally more parts. To <laughs> happy <laughs> I, I've been to more parts in Kenya than Uganda uh, uh, through acting so it made me get to learn more about it and uh, read more about it and as i learned about stage i also learned about film so i joined film in kenya 
as an extra <laughs> in an extra role in a movie called Benta. The movie that has survived for long as a Kenyan movie. It was a Kajitan boy who had produced it. I was an extra in a club. And when I did that, I became like, uh, this is my thing. And I started going for it. And now I'm here. Ah, amazing. Tech. Talk to us about Kasiri. I don't know if I want Tuku to start or I want you to start, but I want you to start before I go to Tuku. Mm -hmm. Talk, tell us about Kasiri. Now, what do you want to know exactly? Like, this? there's someone, when you make a I watch Kasiri. I love when I get to mention to Kasiri. I'm not sure if Kasiri is a secret. Pretty uh, much, pretty mm -hmm. much Kasiri is a secret. Yes. Uh -huh. So yes. the premise, the premise of the of the of the series is that there's this guy, Bazua Keda, I may die this rich man who has passed on. And after he passes on, we, rea we get to realize that there's a second family, illegitimate family that nobody knew about. So the whole house now becomes mayhem because of the scaffolds between the first wife and the mm -hmm. second wife. Then there's more plot twists in there because there's a lot of secrets. Lots so lots of twists. Uh, yeah, personally, I play the role of Taji. Taji is the only son of this rich man called Mr. Zula. But he's the eldest son, but from the second wife. So like Kuna Twist to Kibao. It's a very interesting story. It's a story that most Kenyans and actually Africans can relate to. Because this story, uh, when, uh, I, 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 I can't get the word, but when a mm -hmm. patriarch dies, and then now Kuna Ama Bibiengino Ajitokeza, it happens a lot. So it's a story that a lot of people can relate to. Now Twist in Tango, I got the name Kasiri, because there's a lot of secrets in there. My mother is out there doing some ish, my sister out there doing, like, it's just ah. crazy. It's one thing to hear about Kasiri from their, it's one thing to hear Kasiri about their, um, from your explanation, and it's another thing to watch the trailer. Mm. Could we take a, a very little <laughs> one minute uh, a, a break? We see Kasiri's trailer if we have it. A perfect family is not always what it seems. When a father's past is revealed after his death, leaving his empire in the hands of his wife, son, daughter, and... I'm here to mourn my husband. His other wife. Who will get the castle? You have rattled us now. The war of succession is on in the all new Kasiri. Only on Maisha Magic Plus, Channel 163 on DSTV, Go TV, Channel 3. Perfect family is not always what it seems. When a father's past is revealed after his death, leaving his empire in the hands of his wife, son, daughter, and... I'm here to mourn my husband. His other wife. Ambazina. Who will get the castle? You have rattled us now. Let me ask you, Tuku, mm. what was your first reaction upon reading the script, yeah, Kasiri? For, for, for me, I don't only sound act, keep in the milk or not about the story in any bum, but I can't go to the blogs. This is juice. What's happening here? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really, like it's captivating. Actually, for, after reading the first time, Scott Jota, I wasn't even focused on the role. I was just like, this story is just juicy. So, yeah. What inspired you to take on the project, Kasiri? Mm, first, I would say it was a project brought by the company where we are working. Mm -hmm. So, I had to work <laughs> on it. <laughs> uh, uh, what um, what I, I really think you mean is what I feel shooting Kasiri. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, I picked the story. <laughs> 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 Sorry, oh God, think you should ask. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> what, what I feel she's asking yeah. is compared to the other stories that mm -hmm. we've done, mm -hmm. uh, Kasri... What, what set, because after you answered me that, I wanted to ask you what mm. sets this film apart from the other films you've worked, at, um, you've worked on? Yes, um, this, this one is not all about... Uh, the ones we've been working on is Alejandro, 
and uh, <laughs> kind of <laughs> the Kenyans, so kind of yeah, so so kind of a thing. Alhandos were Kenya trying to, but this one is not only about that. This one has lots of drama, lots of twists, and uh, uh, gives you a wider thinking and uh, being trying to be creative. When on the creative side, it makes you think on a wider space. Yes. Ah, Tuku, mm. let me ask you, what, what, what challenges did you encounter while trying to portray that character? You said Taji. Yeah, Taji. Okay. Apparently, see, Mingi, because Taji is not a man. Like, ah. I actually met the guy, we met the writers, right? Uh -huh. And I could, you see, you can tell the, someone's persona, and he told me himself that he's the one who writes the character Taji. And I could tell, like, the similarities are, the, are just there. Because Taji is the person who is trying to make peace, like to ensure there is peace. I'm, I'm the person who gets along with everybody. So it's really, it really aligns. So that did, did me a very big favor. Yeah. Now from, from, an, from a behind the scene crew uh, perspective, that is at the level of an assistant director, what will you say are some of the challenges you encounter uh, producing, not just Kasiri, but any other film? Um... One of the challenges is just what he said about himself. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he, thinks, he thinks, that's what he thinks. But uh, he doesn't know we see him at a different angle, on a different angle when he's on set and he's going into character. He's totally a different. It's, you, you see, it's like a certain spirit just changes him. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we, as the BTS people, we don't see the singing person. We don't see the... <laughs> we don't see that. We see a Taji, a humble guy in a family of trying to put things together and has so many secrets that he's hiding and he's just, them. he's just carried the secrets. And you know, the challenges are when we are with him here, that is now after his <laughs> shot is seen and you are seated with him, it feels, it feels like Tuku and Taji have something in common, but they don't. And same to the other actors, yeah? Challenging, very much challenging when you try to pressure someone to move from them to the character because some of the actors find themselves thinking that this person I'm doing, it's only changing, just changing my voice, just changing my dressing style. No, mm -hmm. there, there are lots of things that we pressure you to, give you so much examples, let you, make you feel like you're reflecting someone in the society and you have to be that person. Yeah. Tuku, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Did you feel like, or rather, do you feel like um, there's that aspect? Yeah, um, there's a way, a certain type of way people carried you as a musician, and now you have to transition into a different role. Of How do you handle that transition? Then you may hit yet. Ah. Then you may jua yet that. Then you may jua na act new as many as when you may jua na imba yet. Because you are now uploading. Ah, too Sasa. Okay, Siri. Debut. Your debut was just the other day. Yeah, just the other day. Mm -hmm. So, technically, what we are working on on screen, they are not that many. Mm -hmm. Actually, even on my TikTok, people are really struggling too. They're like, hey, do you have a twin brother who is acting? So, Badi Jengia. So, now that Hi Jengia, let me ask you another question that mm -hmm. he may come to Saizi. Mm -hmm. How well prepared are you to handle the there? Change when everyone now you see to handle. But I need Kazi, man, <laughs> guys. I need to hold. Because it will come. Like you see, Mimi, I am here saying. I thought you were singing, and then now comes this aspect. And now the, the, a lot of a lot more people will encounter the tuku that uh, acts, not the tuku that sings. And now there's a balancing Clash. of characters that you need to do. So but how well prepared are you for that? The perspective, Pia. <laughs> All right. How are you looking at it? Because I don't consider them two different things. They are two different things. That one is irrefutable. But my perspective of it all is this is just creativity. So uh, I was creative like in this scope, then I've gotten another uh, avenue in which I can be creative too. It's still creativity. Because the etiquette or rather the discipline I have on this other side is what will translate to this other side. So again, back to what I just said, Nikianza. Any job, any job too. I'll be more famous. Like, it's like you. Now we get to see you because it's a character of your job. It's, it's you know, like because you're on TV and you work on TV, we see you on TV, you meet people out there. So, <laughs> in a card, one library job. The job too, guys. The job. It's, it's, I'm just me. I'm just me. Yeah, I'm just me. <laughs> but it, those are the perks it comes with. The fact that I'm on, I'm on your screens, um, 
you get to know me differently. Because again, there is Tuku, now there's going to be Taji, and then there's Philip. Philip Sasan or Mimi, that's the name you didn't mention. Yeah, Philip Sasan or Mimi. Oh, but I'm Philip. Philip is still too bad. Sound is Philip Carras, right? I'm very personal. Personal. Are you married? No. Okay. Ila si kwenye utawa. Which character do you want now? Your person to. Cheki, date Philip. Philip or Gantu or... Wacha na tuku, wacha na taji, wacha na vijana. Lama advice, lama advice, ata develop. Uta develop here. Okay. Wacha na focus na Philip. Philip is the guy. If you know Philip, then you know all these other guys. That's a good one. Ruta Bingwa, Kasi addresses important social issues in the society. What do you hope the audiences will catch from the film? Hmm... Well, just the same thing you've said. You're so lame, I feel deep. Because um, the what the audience. What's the message Kasiri is putting out there for the audience? If I will simplify that question. Mm, mostly greed, mm -hmm. and uh, it's something that has really affected the society as uh, Kenyans as citizens, Africans actually. Let me talk in terms of Pan-Africans because what was the answer? We are talking Uganda and the answer. No, as Africans, we have something called greed, which leads to so many things. And we can get a casri. Majorly, we have realized greed is one thing that majorly in a make while we are on a safari, on a safari, while we are on a have fun, on a have fun. Greed in love, greed in money, greed, greed in everything. You see, mm -hmm. mm. it's, a mirror, it's a mirror of society too. Mm. Yes, I'll cut you short to add on to what you're saying. It's a mirror of society. Another thing that Kasiri does is like to give, especially the young ones who are coming up, right, to tell you and to show you that we can tell our own stories, yeah, yeah. right? Because again, they are our stories, they entertain us, so like they are worth telling. So that's one of the other things that Kasiri is doing. I believe you shoot. It's it's an ongoing um, yeah. series, right? Toto kapa tunendak shoot. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> for the for the long or short time that you you have done, it's a question that I would want to ask both of you. Now, from uh, an, a director's aspect and from a, uh, an actor's pers perspective. Oh, same attain away away. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I want to ask you from from that perspective of an actor. Yeah. Um, what is the f so far? What is the most memorable moment you've had? <laughs> most. Memorable moment. On set? I assume you're asking, right? Mm. I get him to drive a Porsche, bro. Yeah, I got to drive a Porsche. <laughs> ah. Boys and their toys. Ah, I'm talking with a guy in Safi. Bien to a on the pale lift. That guy is good. Neza kwa ni kona ayo mahali edu, no no. Ya, nime kubali, umo sikia niki dina? Ya, ya. From a director's perspective, what's the most memorable moment of shooting Kasiri? Kasiri, the most memorable moment is, we have a swimming pool on set. Ah. So someone thought we were singing at the birthday to him, and he... And we shouted, we're going to throw him in the swimming pool. And he thought it was a joke. And he found himself in the water. The rude awakening. And he found himself in the water. Till today, he talks about it. This is the culprit. I don't know how to swim. I don't know how to drown. Sorry. But good enough, I'm tall. So there's that. Tall enough. No, 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 no. I'm tall. I'm tall. I'm tall. Okay, this does not apply to you, but Jana, we were talking about Tuliambiwa um, South Sudan. Mm. When when they are pimaing dari, yamschana they pima na height. Uh -huh. So the taller you Wait. are, the more the bright price. Juu, mapenzi kuko juu ama. Juu. Ni kama wanaende uko juu. Aya cheni bana, but cheni dem na na bagi ni kwanza. As we approach a close of this conversation, <laughs> let me ask you: um, How do you relate personally with the themes explored in Kaseri? Aye, these are everyday things that happen every time. So, mm -hmm. literally, I feel it's like I'm, I'm telling something that everyone knows. I genuinely, oh, wait a minute, now that I think about it, yeah, it has happened in my family. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually relate directly. Yeah, but anyway, sorry for another day. I love to know script here. 
But yes, I do relate uh, to the themes directly. They are things I have seen. They are things we all see in society. And it's a good story, man. It's a good story. The thing that's going to really captivate you guys is the secrets and the twists. Like that word Cassidy is not just there. As a, see, 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 it is just a fancy name of the series. Kuna siri nyingi sana pale. So, guys, tune in. Tune in. Finally, kabla ni 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 kuas to go at wimbe. We will help you. You're not getting out of that. But finally, what do you hope the audiences will take home from Kaseri? Mm, a lot. A lot like fan Kwanza. They'll get uh, they'll get to to learn their family members, like <laughs> they are the mirror of the society we are making for them. Mm -hmm. They'll get to <laughs> relate like uh Nani Pale and Tuneza Mongele Shaivi a change, Amani Kitkama Iki and Delea Tafanya Ivi Naivi. Okay, that is the reason of uh, telling stories. We are telling the story. Mm -hmm. They'll take home anything you want to take home. As the audience, I'm sure whatever like the question uh, he just answered Whatever you feel relates to you is what you'll take home. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. So we'll see the same thing. More to to different. Mm. <laughs> so about Kasiri, do you mean I can get to you? Okay, so we have a new song uh -huh. that has just dropped as Vijana Barubaru. It's called Watango Jasana. So I'll do a chorus uh, video in a fuck where drop it. Send it in a few hours. So also to go there. Yeah, to go there. Oko tayari? Sibe to practice, sio? Yeah. All right. Ala mimi nasikia tengene the voice. Sawa? Hai. Wanango jam tandao ni waone tumewachana. Watango cha sana. Watango cha sana. Wanango jam lango ni vita tumegombana. Watango cha sana. Watango cha sana. That's the hook. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you guys are revived. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for making time. And thank you so much for singing. Ah, you're welcome. You look at you, you're special. Yako special. Karibu ni spame ni address the nation then ni kakumbuka. Wacha ni relax. Relax. But thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for coming. It means a lot. You're such a, oof, you're such a vibe. They know where to catch the Yes, that's what I wanted to say. To to me, that's your camera. This is your camera. We will start with Ruta Bingwa. Use the camera to give us a party shot. Tell us to talk about our people. Uh, Instagram, Anthony Ruta Bingwa. TikTok, Anthony Ruta Bingwa. I love Kasiri. <laughs> Monday to Wednesday, 7 30. Pali to Fungulia Magic. Tukutane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch the show on DSTV channel 163. Uh, Go TV channel 3. Every Monday to Wednesday, 7 30. Uh, it's interesting, guys. Uh, tune in. Kasiri Wabambe. To Fungulia Magic, like you said. I'm looking at the social media research to Tukukantu, man. Peace. So, <laughs> Peace. Peace. We're coming back with more energy feed.